Hello. Hello. Welcome to Thursday night. What's going on? Thursday. There we are. Thirsty Thursday. All yeah. four of us are all here. Of us are... What are we all doing? Here? Man, it's like a party. Cheers. Welcome yeah. to Thirsty Thursday. Scott Fleury's live. Is anybody joining Ooh, us? Who's on? Is anybody on? Well, on? I just want to start. So, Mitch Rose 2000, was, he's been on for a while. And the comments <laughs> yeah. just caught me off guard. Two kill Karen, 857.1. Two. The, the old school. He's no, you're killing me, Smalls. They are Look, definitely going now. You. Look, we've got a 56.9 right here. Yeah, hold on to them, man. Enjoy one and hold on to the other, my for friend. For sure. We're going to talk about that tonight, yeah, aren't we? So, the Blocklinger, uh, Paul M. Green Valley. It is scotch time. Yeah, it is. And I have yeah, a scotch. What do you have? I have, I have a, a scotch. scotch. I'm, what am I? I'm thinking I'm drinking the uh, Tomatin 18 right now. I got, no, I I'm, got that Glenn Lib. No, yeah. I just got French I guess we're. What are we doing tonight? I wanted to start with something a little neutral because I hear we're doing something. We're doing some reviews. Right. This is great. So right. it's been a it's been a a non um, review summer for Scott for Dummies. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a, a nice way, way to put, put it. it. Yeah. I mean, we we've been doing stuff, and especially Drew and Mark have been doing stuff. But um, it's it's kind of getting into fall. Kids are going back to school. It's time to maybe get back into Scotch. We did we've done some bourbon discovery series with um, Mash and Drum. So we are Scotch for Dummies though, and I found it. I while bourbon is good, I really like Scott. It, it is nice Turns to dabble, out. to learn. To, I mean, learning really is the key. That's the key. That's yep. what we're, we're mm -hmm. doing for in the first place. And so learning some bourbon was great. But you're right. It's it's good to come home. And I'm actually really excited tonight to do some live reviews. I'm excited yeah. to just do right. some reviews. We're going to do reviews in old style format, but we're going to do them live while you're on. So you'll get a chance so to get part of see that anyway. We're doing the one giant leap tonight and uh, going Dronic 21. Exactly. <laughs> Revisiting the Jason 20. Exactly. exactly. I like we're going to go. We're going to no. 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 And I, did I say no? Uh, so I, I want to give a shout out to uh, a couple of the, the patrons that were on the pre show. Gervin is on. Uh, good morning, Gervin. It's good uh, to see you, brother. Good morning, Gervin. Um, Love this guy. Good to see your face. Thanks for joining in the pre-show so we can have a look. Uh, I saw um, Steve Paul M was... and Alejandro, uh, Stephen Rogers, Paul Chad Anderson. Anderson. So all these guys were on the, the pre-show. It's good to see you guys. Travis Fairclaw, glad you, you're here. Cause... I, we're confused, or at least I am. I mean, what, what <laughs> distillery puts first fill sherry, single malt, scotch, single cask? And is, and is that light? I, especially for Travis. Uh, for Travis, you gotta so stay tuned, Travis. I'm gonna need your help. I'm or something. excited about that one because I've never seen that dude post anything lighter than coffee <laughs> <laughs> on on any form whatsoever. True. So, uh, but I well, can't imagine he sent us anything bad. Trooper Zach Francois, a good deal, man. Look at this question. That's interesting. Wizard Cat. Oh, Where mine. do you buy most scotch? <laughs> I live we in Fort Wayne there. and don't have much selection locally. Um. All right, so we can talk about that a little bit. Uh, I honestly, and we went through our stores here. I mean, yeah. we we've pretty much hit what we can yeah, get locally. You can get some of the new bottlings of the standard distilleries. Some of them yeah. you can get, but generally, Dennis's store downtown. Um, right? yeah. So Vine and Table probably has the most eclectic selection, if that's what you're looking for. And that's in Carmel, um, but the the old manager of that store now has his own store downtown. Um, and I can't Story think company. of the name. Story Company, but they're, they just opened, and it's really odd hours. It's like they open, only open They're on open. Saturdays yeah. um, or by appointment only. But he's got a damn good palate and a good eye, and he's getting some really interesting You won't be disappointed with So if you want to talk, um, Wizard Cat, um, shoot me an email or something, because I, I can help you out when it comes to online stuff. I need to put a video together like that. Anyway, I'm supposed to be doing that a year ago. Um, but I actually have another patron that's in the Fort Wayne area that maybe you guys so, could get together and swap samples or something. Yeah, Aaron, we'll answer that when we hit the review. Yes. So pay, pay, st uh, stay tuned, pay attention, we'll, we'll uh, get to that. Malt mongrels. <laughs> I'm down with that, Colt. <laughs> what could it be? Been called worse. Oh, right? What could it be? Uh, I don't know. I see <laughs> Leanne and, and Wizzle. Wesley's good to see you, brother. Nurse yeah, Dave. Wesley. Oh. Wiggy Krosky, man, everybody's on. This is yeah, good. So we got fun, you guys. People. Um, we haven't sat down and done our traditional formatted review. <laughs> Hope we remember. In a long oh, time. Oh, it'll well, so it's like riding a bike. It, the, the road might be a little bumpy. It might be actually more fun for you guys watching this because you might actually see some four seated bloopers. bike with like um, three missing pedals. <laughs> but uh, we've got two bottles we're going to review, and you guys know how long our reviews take, so it shouldn't uh, shouldn't eat up the whole live show. That's for sure. But the two that we've got are not Glenlivet. 
Not clean with it. Well, we don't want to go into too much detail, do we? Yeah, that's fine. All right. that's fine. Yeah, because I mean, they're going to watch. Uh, we'll redo it on the, on the review yeah. portion. Yeah. All right. So first, we're going to do the Glenallocky 10 Cat Strength. This is batch three. I know yep. there's a batch four and batch five out, but we'll we'll talk through all that when we get to it. Yep. And then we have the Kill Karen eight cast strength fifty six six nine. nine. Yeah, this and is I, the newest one. I don't I don't remember the taste wrap, but it's been a while, but I do remember tasting it a while back and I'm very excited. Well, and, and I don't right. think any of us have had this. But no, so no, I, I no. did open it and you know did that to get the neck pour out, yeah. but it's, which it probably is what's the cast strength in that? Uh, fifty eight. Two. All right. We still are all about comparable. the same. We're, we'll start with that one. Yeah. We'll start with what? Glen Glen Al okay. So Glen we're going to start with the Glen Alki. So then we're going to we're going to not do these two so reviews. Uh, and then we'll take a, 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 a time out and have some fun with you guys. Talk about them. Maybe get some questions, answers, that kind of stuff. See what's going on in the chat. And then we're going to dive in and do the blind review of the samples that Travis sent us. And he's going to have to kind of help us. clue us in when it comes time to the reveal because we he did there's no notes with this it just the samples came and here they are um all right so we need to, go to goodness we, we need to prep our video space and clear so the cameras got, got this hey, nice Jay, bottle Jay, in the well, center we got wow, water in a while we got glasses you got move the water i'm gonna i'm gonna move your water all right. right out of the way it's a good birthday present michael gotta, gotta hide him behind mark because you know he's got broad shoulders i can hide a lot of stuff so <laughs> well, I knew we were doing reviews, so I went old school and wore the Scotch Horror shirt. It's yep. good, man. And, uh, it's good. It still fits. <laughs> I wore the Scotch for dummy so people know who's here. Yeah, we, we don't know the channel name. <laughs> it's all good. It's all even so, in the bottom right. So I got to get here by accident. I guess I got to prep this. All right. Yeah, yeah, man. Whiskey fast. Okay, no, don't so. Need to wait on the coins. Do we need coins? Oh. All right, man. How many bloopers are nope. we gonna do in this? One? No <laughs> so, pressure. It's not like the Olympics or so, anything, right? Yeah, the, the, it's not gonna fall off the beam. <laughs> oh my gosh! But yeah, if you so, want to do a handspring and land on your phone, that'd be awesome. Good this evening, this is guys. This is what you're gonna see. This is what happens on a real review and all the little stuff that goes on. Wheelhouse. Oh Alan, man, this is this is, this is the this is the original coin. Who has who out there has an original Scotch for Dummies coin? Wheelhouse coin. Man, that's awesome. Shut up, one. Whenever Look, you're it matches fine. my shirt. <laughs> Go figure. Yeah. So Alan did ask an interesting question though. How long is too long between buying a bottle and opening it? Boy, I think there's no it difference. There's no not too long. I think you're gonna get different different. I I've got bottles that I've been sitting on for quite a while. But then I've got bottles that get home and just immediately rip it open. It just I don't know. I, I think it as long as you're storing it properly, it can last for Ever? I don't know. Yeah, a long time. A long, yeah, a long, I mean, long time. Years. It's, it's not going to get, it's going to take a long time for it to get like right. too much. Well, long enough for your grandkids to sell it for less than if you can keep it today, <laughs> that's, that's true. That's, that's true. true. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> don't hold them forever. Yeah, make sure you drink them before you go. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to, you don't want to uh, die with them on the show. That's hey, nice. George Captain. Right. Good to see you too. Bucket so, list, open all your whiskey. Scotch. Um, <laughs> Scotch and Bayou has all the wines. So does Gerber. So this is Gerben, nice. S for D money. Yeah. Yeah, you're not lying. All right, guys, All are we right, ready man. for this? So are you? if you guys are ready, we're ready. We're gonna this get is the part of the review where we ask who researched this bottle and if we're ready for uh, yeah. the review. So do they get to see Andrew's the truth behind the, the scenes? All right, when did you look this up? <laughs> <laughs> it was like 13 minutes ago. Uh, um, I looked it up. Uh, quick question before we do get in. How long have you had this bottle? Uh, I was just looking at that. I've had it a few months. You know, three or four months probably. You bought it online? Bought or? it online. Okay. Yep. About 70 bucks. I was just going to say, you yeah. still got that at least a price yeah. point in your head. We haven't done too much of Glen Allen. No, we, I don't have think we've done, done any. I, I thought we, we did, did one. one. I, I'm almost positive we I brought one over. That, it, uh, even yeah. if we did, it was so long ago, I don't remember. No, other, than, other than the one I have up there that I know is delicious that we, we sip every once in a while. Right. So and I'll get into more of the details yeah. okay. about Glenalki and all that as part of the good stuff. We're in spontaneity during the hit the record line, button right? on the Ooh, camera. Hit the record button on the camera. A decent quality. I see the red REC. Hey, uh, quick oh, uh, shout out to Chris, Christina. Is it Christina? Krista. 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 Thank you so Thanks much. For that. Appreciate I'm gonna, that. I want to drink to that when I get something in my glass. Yep. For a mm. <laughs> all right, you guys ready to do this? Oh, yep. the quiz pop. All right. I'm a, little, I'm a little nervous. You guys nervous? I know. It is. It's, it's, yeah, been, man. it's like live on How TV. How long has it been? Part of a champion. <laughs> Part of a champion. New guy on a Scotch journey here. This channel has been very helpful. P.O. 
Stay tuned. All right. We'll talk and, to you and, later and in a minute. Let remind you, don't, don't look at the comments too much. Get do we need to close them? Let's don't look at the it. comments at all. Can we close the comments? Uh, yeah, I got to close them. We're them closing about. the comments so we don't get distracted. And all right. Yeah, I'm actually even going to do this. So that but it's, don't look at yourself. Yeah. That way. Look at the camera, not yourself. Not yourself. Sure. All right. Well, maybe I shouldn't do that then. I know, it's like huge. Like, I feel like wow, that's, it's like life that's a lot of HD. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, can, we, can we go low resolution? I think right. the, the, you the do this? Okay. Four I'm old guys up. on a sketch journey is what I see. <laughs> that's a lot of wrinkles. <laughs> yeah, I should have wore a hat. That's a lot of gray. Oh, great. All right. Six years of sketch like, journey. The bottle's out. We're good to go? Yep, and we're ready. Don't mess up. I won't. All right. In three, two, one. What's up, guys? Hey, guys. Hey, guys. It is uh, Scotch for Dummies. Four guys on a Scotch journey to help you with your next Scotch purchase. Could this is a good be, one. Could be. Could be. Should be. I don't know. I think it should be. Glenn Allicky, 10, cast strength, batch number three. Wow. How many batches, How many batches are, are there? There are, there? there are a total of five batches out right, right now. now. So what are that have been released? Whether you can get one or two is a full question. And many people are having trouble even finding four and five. So this batch three released about April of 2020. Um, and then the batch four uh, came out a little bit later uh, in 2020. And then 2021 had oh, batch five released. Um, batch four, I think, was pretty a pretty small release. Um, but so if you can find them, great. But batch three, I think, is one of the larger releases. How many bottles? Do you know? Oh, I think somewhere was on the order of 50,000. Okay. So, so there were a bunch. A, it's a big release. So, so it's not... What's the deal with the... So Glen Allocky is an old bottle. distillery. Um, about this bottle, well, in 2000, the, the most important thing about this is in 2017, Billy Walker bought Glen Allocky. Who's that guy? And no idea. decided to really make it a, a premium brand. So while this is a 10-year-old, this was obviously distilled way before he took over. He had, they have like 50,000, yeah, that's what it is. They have 50,000 casks in their warehouse. Okay. So he can go through and he can find casks and, and put together bottles that match his his profile. experience and his his favorite, you know, kind of profile thing. So and he's world-renowned. He's I mean, world-renowned. He's, he's done this for multiple different um, distilleries. So this is his latest offering. Um, now, the one thing that's interesting is this distillery is designed to um, produce like 4 million liters a year. It's a lot, but wow. it's a they lot only they only produce about five hundred thousand liters a year, which allows them to expand the um, the fermentation time. And so now that Billy is running the system, he is creating new make and things that are probably very different than what we have here. So we are kind of in a transition zone here, where all of these bottlings are not Billy's bottles, or not Billy's barrel. Distillate. Distillate. Yeah. It's not right. his distillate, but they're the casts are married using his palate so so we're we're tasting his influence on the the finishing process the finishing and not the necessarily barrel, the yes. beginning of process. and so some of these could be okay. finished and i i i looked up there's there are several casts that could be involved with this with oloroso and some px and things but i don't remember exactly the detail of the caskings on this okay that's what i was going to ask it looks like it's pretty dark uh, yeah so it's 58.2 okay. percent abv really high um so let's get into this. <laughs> it's hot. <laughs> Good lord. So what are you getting? Is, is it? It smells I, tight. On my hands, I get chocolate. It smells tight, but I I get some dark chocolate, and there's a lot of fruit. Yeah. And it smells like a cherry bomb right out of the gate here. Yeah. I mean, this is serious Ooh. dark. Dark chocolate, with fruit, strawberries, ah, and God, mm. there's some alcohol on that. Um, fifty-eight. Is that what you said it was? Fifty-eight two. Yeah. Hmm. There's, I mean, some it's, there's some complexity in there. I, I think once you get a sip and the alcohol calms down a little bit, it, it, it's still going to be tight, but you're going to be able to get a whole lot. Of I can't wait. A little bit of funk. I do. On the nose? Yeah. It feels like the alcohol vapor. It's like you've got like off. three quarters of an alcohol vapor and just a quarter of, a, of smelling stuff. It's so, I would agree. It's yeah. so strong. Like I can't get around it to get in there yet. Yeah, you can't get your nose in there and really dig for it. A little cotton candy now on the nose. Oh, I'm starting to get a little barrel, so little tannin on the nose. And, yeah, and some I wood now on the nose, too. Mm, that's nice. They, uh, that's hot. <laughs> <laughs> just, just in case you thought it wasn't, it brings a little bit of heat. Mm. Yep. Ooh. Now, th does not mm. does not taste uh, like I thought it was going to based on the nose. Really? 
No. It's got a lot more uh, dark chocolate and um, like black peas. But I also got, believe it or not, saltwater taffy. Yeah. Mm. No. But no, yeah, no. yeah. It was I, like, I would need to think about it for a little bit. It was like this sweet. It's like a warm saltwater taffy too. With, what? Uh, yeah. Well, it's like, <laughs> yeah. Like, like, it like it's warm. What? It's like it's heated up, melted. It's like it's oh, yeah. it's, it's not. Um, it's not that initial chewy. Yeah. Thing. It's yeah. like on the finish. Like you chewed it for a while. Sugar's yeah. coming out on the nose after that first. Huh. Well, oh, even adding water, then it almost heats up the nose. I gotta let, probably let it sit for a bit. A bit. So it this one packs nice. a punch right off the bat. Yes. Nice oaky finish. I, I think it has a I. So I did read some previous reviews on this, and they weren't particularly um, generous to this, but I don't know why they wouldn't be, because I think there's enough complexity in here. There's some sweetness of the fruit. There's enough barrel um, that I think neat. It's pretty well balanced in that aspect. Now, I'm liking you, it already. When I am. I, I think it's a pretty good bottle. I will say. I'm For not ready to review it yet. So Second sip. Oh, well, uh, clearly, yeah. It, it was a little bit more spicy on the finish. Hmm. The alcohol kind of tamed down, and you could get to some of the, the sweetness and the, the fruity notes of it. Um, but it had like a gingery mm. pepper quality to it. I mean, it was, I mean, it's still hanging out. Pepper, gingerbread's why I got. And, and, it, and it's, it's almost, I don't know how to explain this, but it's almost watered down, rounded at the bottom of my finish. Like it's not, I don't get the, the alcohol does not kick back in there. Like, you know, sometimes you get that punch in the back after you swallow. It's not. It's kind of no. really bottomed out, well-rounded. Um, it's easy to swallow, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Hot on the tongue, though. I mean, it, it, the the, the front. front part of my tongue is still pretty peppery, right. burny. Um, Get some water for sure. Jesus. I think <laughs> that, that after that first sip, the nose really got a lot sweeter. But the first sip, as hot as it was, I got a really red fruit up front. The, the very first initial taste I got was like a really... Not quite mm. tart, but um, not quite fresh. It was almost yeah. like really early fresh red fruit. Almost like a sweet tart in a sense when you say that. I agree. Hmm. It's, but it tastes closed to me. Yeah. Have you had water? Have you had I, I just put water Ooh, in it. I, I think did. it's going to have to sit Ooh. for a minute. Ooh, that water. I, no. I, I'm not for Andrew's me. making the bad face. On the nose. I'm making the bad water, face. Water really felt make the nose much more approachable. I can get a lot more on there. <laughs> I got orange in the nose now. Yeah, I can see that. Boy, the palate just went to all black tea. And also, yeah, I also did. all red fruits. It well, doesn't seem it doesn't seem as sherry based off the color, you know, the taste wise. Yeah, I would agree. It does not taste like a sherry bomb. It smelled a little bit like it at <laughs> front, but boy, when you add water to it, I'm in my so maybe I'm off tonight, but no, I think you're right. The, pal the palate kind of fell apart. Uh, more leather now. I'm getting leather and tobacco in there now for sure. What's wrong with that? The nose is fruity, like fruity. Like uh, you got water, juicy fruit. Yeah, like it is a little I, I was juicy surprised because I get I get the red fruit, but it's also got like some tropical notes in there. It's weird. <laughs> All right. not, not a lot though. It's it's very tame. I think on the fruit side. I need like to sit for a little bit more. <clears throat> I'm gonna go in. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to overwater this. See, now I've got juicy fruit. That's all I get. <laughs> Is that good or bad? Huh. It, 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 it's not as. Um, it lost a step with the it water. It did. I think it really did. And it, like I said, that weird uh, watered down on the original palette with water on it now, it tastes even more like baseline watery. What's the price on this thing? 70 bucks. Not too, not too bad. I mean, it's, it's right. only a 10 year old, so. I'm ready. Hit it. Lock right. and load, brother. So when I walk into a liquor store mm -hmm. and I see a bottle that's in the high 50s, low 60% ABV, two thoughts occur to me. Either that bottle is going to be fantastic and they bottled it at a high ABV to let you kind of mess around with it and find your perfect spot for the water and, and the dilution and everything else that's going to be in your wheelhouse for that particular whiskey. Or... They bottled it at a super high ABV because that's the only way they could concentrate everything enough <laughs> to get you to where they think you ought to be, right? Trickery. Um, and, and I don't know that it's trick. Well, yeah, it's trickery. It's trickery. Um, <laughs> it's trickery. So I won't say that it's it's bad. Um, I like a lot of the notes that I'm getting, but they're not overly strong. They're not overly complex. 
you can tell that it's a younger whiskey. They don't they don't meld very well, right? Like there's just things kind of bouncing around all over the place. But I like the initial stuff. Like yeah. I'm getting some leather and I'm getting some of these ripe fruits and I'm getting like saltwater taffy and orange and you know things that I enjoy. And so the nose is enjoyable. The palate isn't. It's not bad. It's no, just not it's not off at all. Yeah. Um, so I would say that I wish they would left it in the barrel another five years. <laughs> well, I, I do yeah. because it's just not quite there. I wish it had more of what it has to offer. Nothing is bad, but it's not had enough time to kind of give it everything that it needs. So I'm going to give it a two five. Like I feel like this is an on the way to something whiskey, and it's it's better than a lot of you know. I mean, I've had 15 year olds that were way less complicated than this. Well, one. I, I, this one's got some stuff on it. It's just not quite. Yeah, that's a good point. This is a 10 year old whiskey and we're comparing it against, you know, maybe some uh, the, I mean, the broader palette. Yeah. It says natural color. Uh, it's hard to believe that. I warmed up with a 15 year old whiskey that was nowhere near as good as this. So uh, two yeah. five. I mean, I think it's a good solid dram and for 70 bucks, it's probably worth picking up and giving it a shot. So two five. Yep. Andrew, are you ready? I think you're already 10 yeah, minutes ago. <laughs> well, no, so we scared. Shoot for the no, because see, what I did is I, I did what you did, and I, I continued to water it to see what where, right, where it I'm went. Trying, I'm trying for sure where it went, it. and I, I actually think it's better. It's good. It's great. It, it's a, it's like a three o neat because it just has a, a potency of flavor. You water it down, it it loses something now, and then when I got, I'm probably forty percent give or take here now. Um, it's getting cloudy. You can tell it's not chill filtered. Um, it it actually is is not bad either. I mean, it's it's better than I think the my initial watering was. So it's creamier now. It's softer. It's delicate. It, it's kind of you're getting more of the softness out of it. Um, it's got great mouthfeel. I think so. I, this is this is complicated for me because I like it neat. I like it watered down. That middle zone isn't great. I'm going to give it a. It's at least a two five at minimum because of that that rich flavor coming out of the bottle and, and admittedly billy walker did it that way for a reason i mean put it at that cast strength now you can get a uh i think you can get a, a glen alky 10 non-cast strength but also glen alky has 12 15 20 25 and 30 year old whiskey you can get because it, it's been around for a while so that would be interesting to try some of those in relation to this as a 10 year old i think it's a good value at 70 bucks um Two five. I'm gonna go with two five. That's that's where it feels right for me with um, the complexity, the price. I would buy this. Yeah, I would. I would not be ashamed to share this with somebody on my bar. Absolutely. Oh man, he's going like one five. I know. No, I'm going the other way. Actually, um, <laughs> I appreciate this. So yes, neat first nose. Be careful. <laughs> you're gonna, you're gonna cinch yeah. some hairs. It definitely does come in hot. I think need, this thing needs time, um, probably more For time sure. than we gave it. For yeah. sure. So it's not quite fair. I think that this thing has the potential to open up neat and be a lot more than we're, we're grabbing at right now that, that we can get to. Um, it's hot, definitely, on the palate as well. A little bit of spiciness on, on the palate neat. I mean, that's probably the alcohol burn. But uh, neat, uh, I did get some of that red fruit that's just coming into being ripe i did get some some chocolate right off the, the bat um the palate was just it i think there's a little bit of spice in the palate but it's hard to tell neat because it was just so damn hot right and yeah. i don't know if that's alcohol burn or just so anyway put some water in and started opening up that the, the nose got sweet mm -hmm. and after the first taste it actually the next nose was really sugary to me um but i think the more water i added the more I enjoyed it. And I honestly uh, think that if I let it sit without water, it would open up even more. Um, I really like it. I really like what it's bringing. There's a lot of things in there. Complex. No, I'm not going to go so far as that, but there are some things in there to enjoy. And I think it changes a little bit with the, each addition of water. So it depends on what you want, where you're coming in at. Cause yep. the last drink that I just took and, and I've over, over watered mine, the chocolate note came out really strong in the palate for me. And I was like, okay, you weren't there on the previous watering. So I'm having fun with this glass. And I think it, it offers now you're giving me a 10 year old, 70 bucks for a 10 year old, a little pricey, but on the same token, it's, it's also strange. got more whiskey in the bottle than your typical. <laughs> right. So um, I really like it. I, I think it's really good. I don't know if it's a three, five, I think it's a solid three. Um, 
I was, I, I'm going to stick with, right with the solid three. Okay. I, I, and I think it's got potential beyond that, but I don't have the time to do that. Nope. No, no, yes. <laughs> um, so what the what? So I, I, I don't agree, actually. I think this is uh, a little bit of marketing and hurry up to get it out. Um, when you look at it, and I'm buying this. Now, to be fair, I'm not a, a Glen Allocky guy. I've not had a lot. So their, their profile, if this is something you're looking for, maybe you have a different opinion. But me buying this bottle fresh, I just bought it off the shelf and I brought it home. The one thing I will agree with you on, I guarantee you, is that we don't, we're not doing justice as far as letting it open up the cast drink. Like yeah. in, I, I know that it's got some complexity to it. But and we're not giving it time to open up. And we're forcing it. However, it does not deliver for me on the profile of the palate or the of the taste of the nose. Um, I think it's complex enough that it's interesting, but it does not give me a sherry bomb that I'm looking for. It does nope. not give me anything on the nose that's super complex. It's a little bit wishy washy. Um, Saltwater taffy, I think, is an excellent nose palate for this. Um, and I think mm. it's it's on the palate itself. It's not it's not funky, but it's got something a little different. It's got a little bit hint of chocolate. It's got a little hint of okay. some sherry, but not much for me to go on with water. And I may have watered down too much, but it went even worse. It would even left left some of its uh, wheels. So I, I I don't know for me what I what I was getting from this one. I was not that impressed, uh, and especially if ten year for seventy dollars. I think that's pretty high. Uh, I'm going to go even two on this one. because That's I think why he did this. When I scissored rock, scissor paper, he went like this. He was giving me the clue. Give you the oh. He didn't see it. And he, also, he also made the math easy. That's right. Yeah, yeah he did. A two, so, a three, and two, two, fives. What's the math? That's a two, five. Two it's five, been a two while five. since you've been on the horse trail. Yeah. That's right. Giddy up. Giddy up. Let's go. So, so I, I think it was pretty good, but yeah. All right. All right. Two, two five, five, three. Two, five. Two. two. Glenn Alecky, two, 10 year cast train, batch three. I there can't wait to see batch four and five. Those might be interesting, but I really like to try some of the older, older stuff. Yeah. And interested to, to hear if you've got this bottle, if you've tried a dram of it, throw it down in the comments. We want to hear some more comments on what's yep. going on. Cause it's not like we see a ton of these around anyway, but on that note, hit the subscribe, like a like, the like button is the most important thing on anything we do, because if you don't subscribe, you. just click a like anyway. Yeah. Anyway, guys, good review. Fun. Cheers, Cheers, man. Cheers. Cheers. See you next time. All right, let's keep talking for a second. Yeah, I don't Why know. would we stop? I know. But <laughs> so that was I, two. I, it, it wasn't. Two, it was not three. Impressive. So so <laughs> so so there is definitely nothing wrong with this bottle. There is nothing bad. I, I would say I, there, it's just it's my profile. To me, this does not give me anything that's really. Man, you got to put the bourbon down, son. <laughs> <laughs> not rare breed, though. I'm telling you. <laughs> All right. Oh, shit. Uh, Good job. Good. All right. That's hit the record right. button. 82 so. comments. Hit the record. Hit the record. Right. Stop the record. And let's, let's catch up oh, some comments. All right. Thank, thank you for hearing, humoring us while I went through review. All right. Let's uh, scroll up and see I want to what see what people are saying. saying. Oh, what were they even talking about us? They may not have been paying attention. Nah, lose all his comments. I found that Glen Alky CS can really hold water. It can. You're right, Scott. Definitely it can. No. I don't know if Glen no. Alky's going to replace Glen Dronic. It's not as sweet and rich as that. We'll see at this point. In 10 years. At this point, yeah. Wait, wait till. You need uh, to breathe more. Totally. We'll, we'll see what right. happens at Glen Dronic and hey, Glen Alky. Good to see you. No. You need to okay. let it breathe more. I, I hear you, Daniel. I hear you. Yep. Kirk. Yep. Philly, what's going on, dude? Philly, Philly. Taste again in a few weeks. And I would totally agree. I, I think that's I really right. do think it needs to open up. See, right. that's why I love the comments because these people know Scott. Right. They yeah. know how to drink whiskey. And, and opening this this morning or this afternoon, it didn't have time to really mature. And uh, yes, you're right. Chad said he scored lower than he thought it would. Yeah. It I'm, I'm sorry. Time. Mm, sir. <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> All right. All right. What are we doing now? Mm. One giant leap. Gotcha. One giant leap. One giant leap. leap. <laughs> we need some more water in this glass. Uh oh. What we got? Francois likes it. Good for Drew. For oh. No. Thank you. Somebody Don't encourage this. That's guy. right. Oh, man. That's how we go. It is how we roll. That's how we roll. It's all yeah. right. It I is. love the reviews where none of us agree with <laughs> well, anything. It's so, it's so much more go fun. Go from one to a three five. Take, and everybody take pieces out of everybody's little argue. banter and say, is that? Makes sense to me. <laughs> what do we give it? Two five overall. Mm -hmm. I like Zach's comment. Eighty-two people in this show. 
and only 39 likes. Come on. Yeah. Well, Honestly, I, that's that's the number one thing for right, as of right now that I understand math wise. It used to be a bunch of stuff. It's just likes. I think we just need to be more like oh, everybody gets something. You get something. You get something. <laughs> Give us a like. Give us a like. <laughs> you get a like, and you get a like. Uh, no, okay. If you click the like button, you'll get some of um, his deeds and twenty. Oh, <laughs> the phone? Like <laughs> and you'll see me shove these coins right <laughs> up, Andrew. It's live. All right. So, all right. Next up, you guys, Kill Karen Eight. It's my the latest Hassler. edition. What do you say? I still got bourbon left over from when I first started getting into whiskey. I just poured them all together and haven't touched them much. Yeah. <laughs> New to Scotch, a Scotch for Dummies, more of a reverend guy, but this Kilcarrion 8 is my favorite Scotch. Now, which Kilcarrion 8 is Yes. It? Give us your ABV. What's your ABV on that bottle, Josh? Tell Kilcarrion 8 cast strength, or I don't know if they're there. Everyone. All right, everyone. Take care, yes, bro. Didn't have a chance to chat with you. Um, yeah, which Kilcarrion is it? Okay, pull it so, out. Kilcarrion. Oh, my gosh. I'm so excited for this. Yeah, like this. But I, I, well, I don't know. It's going to be old. Like it's all like old and aged and stuff. Hopefully. Well, well you guys remember the first it's, one. It's properly yeah. opened up at this well, point. They, the first one didn't last very long. Thank God we got some reserve. That bottle. That, that, bottle that, that particular one. <laughs> that, that sacrificial <laughs> lamb. So, so Josh has got this one, the 56 9. Nice. Oh, cool, Josh, awesome. here we go. Awesome. 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 I'm curious, how did you get it? I guess ordering online, huh? So the beauty is, I love that he can go through this review. Let's pour, pour a glass of it, yes. Josh, and, not to, uh, and we'll talk to her. Not to compare to the Olympics, but. This is like the little brother going for the gold against the older brother. Yeah. Right? You know See what, what I mean? George, yeah, I saw that, George. You're right. We, we will. We'll come back. What? All right. He says, yeah. Oh, yeah. Awesome. yeah. People are getting this 56 9. Dang it. It's not in the state yet. You're killing me. Astor has <laughs> the gift on eight in stock still. The, this, this one? It's not here yet, is it? In the States? Well, Astor may have the kill current eight. Is that the old so, one? So, wait a minute. Uh, Travis says that they, they had it, then they, they were out. Because I, I mean, I, is that, sure is that overseas? On that. No. And Scotch has three of the 57 ones, which are fantastic. So, yeah. 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 Good luck, Jose. Yeah. <laughs> we'll talk about that. All right. It's anyway. some weird knockoff. That's right. <laughs> no, well, he mentioned 57.199. <laughs> well, and he, he may get the. It's got a little bit of sherry in there. A little bit of sherry. <laughs> the bourbon cast. So, I know Zach likes the, the Kill Karen 8 bourbon cast as opposed to the. Was that the that was one before the yeah. one? Yeah. All right, rinse and repeat. Mark, All right, you're so on deck. we're already recorded. All right, no Look recording. At that. All right, I'm on deck. Yeah, <laughs> you're, you're talking about it, aren't you? This, this is a scotch. It comes it's in a bottle. It's from Glen Goyne Distillery, right? Kill care. Let's go. It comes in this can. Glenn. All right, it's just Karen. Ready? Three, two. What is up? Hey guys, it is Scotch for Dummies. Four guys in a Scotch journey to help you with your next Scotch purchase. And I swear, I hope it's one of these. It could be. I guarantee. I bet this is horrible. You shouldn't buy it. Right. Stay away from this. It's going to be good. What do we got here? We have Kilcarran 8. It is a bottle specific. Cast strength 56.9%. I'm giving you that information because that is very specific to this bottle. Um, this is all the, the tubes look alike. Yeah, they all look exactly the same. They say the only way you're going to tell the difference is that ABV on the side. When you go um, to a liquor store, you're going to see these and freak out and get them. You don't because look at that ABV because it's so and hard to get away. If you have the ability, open the, the can and look at the bottle because there are older Kilcarran 8s out there on the shelf still that are bourbon finished, are matured, and you know they look like bourbon matured. Yeah, sorry, they're not this sherry right bomb that this is going to be. I think the only thing that gives it away is the ABV, right? That's yeah. exactly. It is. it is. Everything looks. I like that Andrew poured him and I. I noticed that. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Yeah. So we got to get through tonight. So. Um, is is the name of the brand? It comes from the Glen Guile Distillery. Every year they put these the Kilcarran Eight out. Um, actually, I think COVID screwed the latest one up. So I shouldn't say every year, but um, this is the latest one that we could get in the states. Now, the or no, I take that back. This is the latest one that's out. Yes. It's this year's version. This of year's the, the most their... recent one. It is not in the states yet. So, and, and maybe a, that's summer, not true. Maybe summer. it's showing up here. I have not found it yet, and I'm ready. When I do, I'm going to be clearing the shelf. From what I understand, um, that it's it's technically able to be here. It's not actually distributed yet. Right. That's uh, what that's what they told us. Someone from the right. distillery told us, and this was two months ago or that better. was that was that's, longer. Yeah. Longer yeah. Than yeah. That. So it's um, sitting on the long. Covid did get in the way a little bit. So let's back up. 
we did have the previous bottle the year before this, and it was 57.1. Uh -huh. Actually, scotch got of the year, scotch of the year, got all around. About uh, I'm pretty four. sure we helped influence basically getting every bottle off the show. So Absolutely yeah. loved it. That was our like first review of 2020. 20, yeah, January. And we all called it when we sipped it. We're like, oh, oh, this is probably like the scotch to beat. It goes year. downhill from here. Yeah, and it did. <laughs> Dude. It, it was that was delicious bottle. Yeah. So delicious. No. This is the follow up to that. And to be honest with you, the fact that they followed it up with another sherry bomb, I was really excited and surprised because I didn't expect that. So I, I spoke to them and they're I guess they're doing this a yearly thing now. It just this is this is 2020's version. They're probably making next year. Sherry bomb too, yeah. though. It's all gonna be it's gonna That's be continue to be yeah. nice. Right. Cause I'll be honest with you guys, the 57 one version of this, the one before, disappeared. Quick, it, it gone. Was so good. You can still find the one before that, the bourbon one. It's still yeah. on shelves right now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and and this one, I have a feeling, no matter what we say, and this is going to disappear. It, it's oh it's already disappeared on online stores. Overseas. Yeah, you have to be quick, quick the trigger to get it online. Yeah, right. and you find. Well, it. I mean, this it's it's one of those uh, boutique. Like this is seriously turning into almost like bourbon level of like. Do they, have yet? do they have Pappy? Look in the tube, have... see what the ABV is. Yeah, it's almost like searching. Yeah. yeah. So this is oh a Campbelltown. This is this is gonna this should, if in theory, give you your sherry funk. Yeah. Right. I mean, this is next door to Spring Bay. Mm. Yep. Right. Should. So, it smells I mean, funky. Does it? Oh, oh okay. Ah, so sweet hello funk. lover. <laughs> sweet funk. <laughs> Get down with your bad self. Oh my goodness. So if, if you don't like funk in your whiskey, if you like bourbons and the sweetness, this won't be for you. But if you like like potent, powerful whiskeys, if you like your coffee black, if you feel like your your beer uh dark like Guinness or you know a, a, a Murphy's or something like that, this may be for you. But if you like Campbelltown uh, whiskey, ah, uh, uh, I mean you you don't you can smell this blindfold and know it's Campbelltown. I, I right off the bat, you're you know no you're, doubt. No doubt. No, you obviously have to have Campbelltown and what it tastes like. Mm -hmm. Yes, no doubt. It, it leaves its marks. But on the nose, I mean, I've got like charred bananas fostered, like like just that sweet banana taste and charring, uh, smoky with a little bit of sourness on the nose. Oh, it's exquisite. They uh, they threw this before they walked in the room. Yeah. yeah so the, yeah, you're right. There's there's sweet fruit cherries on it. There the 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 palate uh, through mm. the mid palate becomes this smoky, just slightly smoky charred flavor. It, it it somewhat loses the funk, you know that that sweat sock kind of funk on the on the palate, <laughs> but it's so delicate on those flavors going through the mid palate that it just it, it stuns me that something with this powerful a nose changes on the palate it's rich too i mean I, the, the initial palate punch is just this richness i mean and we haven't wanted this at all it's it's almost an orchestra you almost don't need there's to. so many things going on and they all kind of just come together to harmonize into this one thing but there, it's so much happening that it's hard to almost pick out exactly what's going on at any one time and the beauty behind this too i, I think it's only around 70 dollars if you yeah. can get it now that may go up. But 50, plus shipping. Seven, 56, 57 pounds, I think, is what it's really coming in at over uh, in the UK when it hit the online stores yeah. months ago. Yeah. Um, plus 30 so that, bucks. That, that would seem to be a bargain for the complexity of flavor oh, to get out of this. I, yeah, I, I'd like to have a couple more bottles of this for sure already. I can tell you right now. It's going to so, get, get good scores, I can tell you right now. I, now the one thing I, I don't know, um, and they obviously don't put it on here, we might have it in an email and I've forgotten. Is the number of bottles that they produced out of this? Oh yeah, I don't know. Um, I want to say the fifty-seven one was somewhere around either sixty-nine hundred or ninety-six hundred bottles, um, and I, I just have to assume that this is probably similar. Uh, I want to say ninety-six. I, I was close to ten thousand. I yeah. thought I really did. Uh, it, this is very similar to last year's to the fifty-seven one. To be honest with you. I can I and I'm drinking from memory on I, on that 57 one although my memory's pretty good because I have quite a bit about one of those bottles. <laughs> I, <laughs> I, might just, a bit I of just um, but I there is a difference. They are different. I, are right different. Out, I definitely they're yeah. not the same whiskey. Now this this I don't is, think this is my it's, it's this is basically Kel Karen when, and a lighter version of the original Kel Karen with Dean's and twenty mixed in. So to describe it. 
What do you it's, mean? It's, so it's, it's get more, it's got more bread, more the burnt toast, more of that funk that I'm looking for in a in a in a Campbell Town. And so less, that's been, that's less sweetness, it. less cherries, less raisins, and things like that. Yeah, I think the the original Kilcarran, the one we have up there, I think is more charring than this is. Uh, this has more of the funk elements into it, which I absolutely love. I, I will agree with that. I, I the <laughs> funk kind of hits you up front. The the sweet parts kind of are around the sides mm -hmm. a little bit more. Um, almost bitter too. I, I enjoyed the fact that yeah. Yeah, I mean, I get those like black tea, dark chocolate notes, um, but it's got some fruit going on. There's sweetness, but it's not overwhelming. I thought that last year's had a little bit more kind of sweetness coming in and kind of taming mm -hmm. the funk down a little bit. And this one's a little more funk forward, if you will. Um, <laughs> but it's uh, you're absolutely right. You're, you're absolutely yeah, you're but right. it's got it's nice because the funk, funk fades forward. a little bit, and then you get like some nice spicy notes going on as well. And so, I mean, it's got a lot of things going on. There's a lot of things to get balanced, but nothing seems disjointed or, you know, unharmonious. It all kind of flows very nicely. I would For agree. an eight-year-old scotch. Yeah, uh, I, I think that you're right. This does not have the the rich, sweet um, mid palate like the like previous years does. So I would say this is um, much, it, so to, to use common terms, I guess the, this has a, a lot fewer of the sweet PX kind of flavors into it and more of the deeper, like oxidized Oloroso yeah. flavors into yeah. it. More leather, more of those kind of things as yeah. opposed to the sweetness, the grapes, the those kind of things. So if you're if you're a sweet freak, this may not be for you because this doesn't have a, a ton of sweetness. It is primarily the um the funkiness, the there's a, the smokiness in that mid palate. And the sweetness around the edge. I would agree, with Sean, on this. I got cinnamon raisin toast. Yeah. <laughs> I don't, yeah. See, I don't get that much sweetness in it. I, I did water, either, water, I put a little water, water on it. Oh, I didn't like, water this at all. Yeah, the water it. really mellows up that palate and gives gives that chocolate back in there where it wasn't as strong before. Mm -hmm. I'm ready to go, I'll though. Man. Yeah, I'm ready, too. Go, go ahead. Can we go? Yeah, yeah, I went first in the last. Kill them small. small. So I'm going to come out of the gate with a four. Um, here's why. The price is perfect. Uh, I know it's not an age statement, but it's already the bar was set from the previous and it matched it. It's an eight year. Uh, yeah. It doesn't matter. It's still freaking good. It's a four. <laughs> it does, yeah, you don't need an, uh, an age on it. Um, oh, yeah, you're ready to hear. Um, but anyway, it, it's freaking fantastic. Uh, it's fantastic. I only the Arnold's work. I don't know. Can I over water? No. I don't know if you did or not. Actually. I think I did. Anywho, four for me. I mean, everything I love about this is. is if you know me, you know I love the burnt toast. The Deanston 20 is my go-to. And this has so many of the same quality elements of that Deanston 20 in it with that Kelkarian love and Campbelltown funkiness of the of some of the, the chocolates. I think I think it actually it's very approachable, neat, but with the water, it really mellows it out. And you get more of the dark chocolate, more of the fruit notes that I didn't have before. Um, probably letting it sit and open up by itself would give you all those elements as well. Um, but it's it's complex. It's well rounded. It's easy to drink. You've got things going on in your palate when you drink it, from the front to the back to the sides, the finish, um, the charring. I love. I, I absolutely love this. I think it's one of those bottles that I, I, I'm actually going to go on a hunt again for them and see if I can find some. Four for me. All right. Okay. <clears throat> you want me to go? Or are you ready? Yeah, I'm still thinking. I All right. Do. All right. So I'm not going to start off with my number. Oh, I think you know where I'm going. Um, <laughs> going I'll tell five. you what. Give it a one the, the interesting thing about this is, is I'm really comparing this in my mind, in my memory, to the, the 571 version. Uh, and they are completely different whiskeys in, in, in my mind, in my palate. Yep, I would agree. Um, the 571 is definitely more of a bold sherry bomb. Not to say this one doesn't have a lot of sherry influence. It does. But this one... And, and I, the, the other one I, I gave a four, and I loved it for its sherry bombs. I mean, it just came forward, punched me in the nose, and said, I'm a sherry lover, and you, you're going to love me. And, and it was a great marriage. This one, I'm going to give it a four, but because it's not that, it's everything other than that. It's, I've, got the, I've got the Campbelltown funk in it. I've got that, that PX sherry note in it. So it's not that deep, rich, but there's the sherryness mm -hmm. that's there. It's sweet. It's it's got flavor. It's got ABV. Um, when I water it, it's got the, the the layers of the flavor come in. And honestly, over time, it's been sitting here for five minutes now. 
the funkness wore off on the nose a little bit and, and I went in and, but it, I can still taste the Campbelltown influence on it. It's just, it's, it's the other one without the over the top sherry note. And I really think it's interesting. I mean, close your eyes guys. And you, you're, I honestly don't think you can get tricked on a blind on this. And no. you're, you're, you're going to come in you're going to be like, <laughs> I, I, I'm, I know it's one of these three distilleries. Yeah, <laughs> it's either yeah. a Kilcarran, a Hazelburn or a Spring Bank. Bank. Yeah. <laughs> And that's only two distilleries. I'm pretty sure so, you go with Spring Bank right, or, or Right. Kilcarin. So, I, I mean, I just think it's got everything you want, especially at the price point. I mean, yeah. hell, I'm, I'm grateful it's got yeah. an H. Damon, but if it didn't, I wouldn't care. Hey, I don't I'm, give right. a hoot about yeah. that. Right. But about for the price point, come on, man. If 70 bucks for this, yeah, I'm going to have three or four of them. So, yeah, you know, a, if a bull, you're not ready when you see one, call me. I am. Yeah. Uh, I got to go for it because it's, it's, Awesome. And now I'm damn Every excited time. about the next one. Yeah. I mean, there, me that's too. two out of the park. You're doing yeah. good. So cheers to them. Go ahead. Is it me? It's you. All right. So I agree with you on a lot of this stuff because I was thinking about that other bottle. And I hate to make comparisons, but you're going to make comparisons, right? Mm -hmm. um, so this is the next up. And I agree with you that it doesn't have all of that, that sweet sherry notes. But what it does have is, is wonderful stuff. <laughs> And I think the sherry is kind of just peppered in around the outside mm. to kind of complement what's going on in the middle. Um, the funk is prevalent in it this is. one. You know what I mean? Versus the last one where it was kind of tamed down mm. a little bit. And I mean, it was there, but it was more about the sherry. It was influence. overpowered. This is much more like letting the funk come forward a little bit. The only the reason I was like kind of struggling with this a little bit was when I put water on it, I kind of lost a little bit like neat it's the <laughs> like there's no reason to put water Straight on it. the bottle. Fine. yeah i don't even know if i get a glass you just hit it out of the bottle um but it's you know i put water on it and i wouldn't say that it got disjointed but it just kind of lost a little bit like it, it was trying trying to find itself and to me that showed its age right like oh yeah it's an eight year so it's right. it's kind of one of those things where you know it, you're talking to somebody and you're like, you know, they seem a lot older than they are. They're just an old soul. And that's what this bottle feels Ooh, like. That's interesting. You know what I mean? It's like right. you, you walk up and you're like, cow. oh, you're obviously you're a 20 year whiskey. Right. And it's like, man, I have an eight year. I can't handle this. <laughs> you're so, like, I'm getting a Right. So, <laughs> but I, I think that, you know, in, in that just one instance, it just kind of showed its age. And I think that, it, you know, I, I put a little bit more water on it and it kind of came back together and, and it's doing its thing. So, I mean, it is an eight-year-old whiskey, but for seventy bucks, like you're going to be hard pressed to find anything that that's fifty-seven percent ABV that's put together like this that has the depth and character that this does. It, you're never going to find something like that. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a four. I, I think that it's well worth the number. Uh, but like I said, you know, when I put a little water on it, it showed its age just a little bit, and then it came back together. So you know, it's fine. I'm still going to drink it. It's fine. So I would agree. This is a fantastic whiskey, but but dun dun dun. This is even my wheelhouse. So this has that rich flavor, the the smokiness, the the there funky the going in there. But it's not as good as it could be. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. The chink oh. in the armor. Yeah. So I I would I would say that I'm going to compare it because I we've had a four. We've had multiple fours, and the multiple fours always have this amazing dynamic complexity that that changes throughout the palate you add water to it it generally doesn't have any effect on it and you just can't walk away from it this one i can't walk away from because this is a fantastic whiskey but it's not a four for me sure. and for this reason so if is you're that, walking away from it i'll take it i'm not walking <laughs> no, away from let it. me defend this do this no I, <laughs> so right, i will talk, tell you talk me through it talk th through this it. is a this is a great whiskey if you like oxidized sherries and funk. If you like sweet whiskeys, this isn't for you. If you like delicate whiskeys, this isn't for you. Fair enough. If you like um, uh, cab casks, this isn't for you. Or this is th this is uh, you know heavily peated whiskeys. This isn't for you. This is a fairly narrow flavor profile, and predominantly because the Campbelltown flavor is so dominant and doesn't really give way to anything else. That's fair because you can't get anything other than Campbelltown coming through. You do you can pull all the flavors out, but you can't get away from the Campbell Town. There's no there's no subtleties. You can't water it. All that kind of stuff. So it's a it's a it's a niche whiskey. And, and because of that, 
even though I it's in my wheelhouse, I'm going to give it a three five. Now to be so to you be fair to that, out of Kentucky, you just can't take the Kentucky out of the boys. To, to be fair, it's really kind of the same. Thing. We're finding something. He doesn't like the decent, decent twenty either. That's correct. Is the funkiness? He thinks no, it's like, he, you like it. Over but. over oxidized oil so I'm not. You know that I don't like the burnt toast mm -hmm. as much as you. So so that's a that's the interesting thing. So burnt toast, the uh, these twenty is your absolute go to whiskey. I won't drink it because I don't appreciate it like he does. So yeah. I'm not going to take his decent twenty. No, I think your points are so fair. This is this is where it's a great whiskey. It's absolutely with three five. If you find a bottle, buy it because it's worth it. But it's not the broad fantastic everybody in the world should have a whiskey because it 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 is fairly niche so three five for me it's gonna it's gonna break I'm, the chain i'm, I'm, not, gonna, I'm I, not gonna argue I, I with you at all i that, think man. you're fine with that i agree with that, that. I, I agree with that. That's absolutely fine. um stand, stand with i just while you were saying that i was envisioning a video where we have drew whipping burnt toast at you standing against a wall <laughs> naked screaming shame no! Shame. Shame. <laughs> can we do that? Can, can yes. We do that? We, like, I, I want to stars. do that. That, that, that would be awesome. Naked. <laughs> I'm not <laughs> naked. <laughs> so anyway, um, we've got three fours and a three five. Yeah, so that's like three eight seven five. It didn't quite match up to its older sibling. Correct. Right. Last like, year, it's not as good. It's not as bad. Well, well, this is. I, I think the key here is it's, that's good. it's a, little, a little different, but this is bring the funk. Compared to y'all, and right, for seventy and that, bucks if you I can find it, it, you should totally buy yeah, 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 yeah. totally it. And I want to be clear: I, my four is different because of, of, of than the other five. I love the fact that this one's different. It brings that funk, and that's what it is. That, that's yep. what I'm. That's yep. why I gave it. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, for seventy bucks, can't go wrong. Can't go wrong. Great review, Andrew. Three, five. I appreciate it. Cheers, guys. Three I love eight, seven it. five. Thanks for watching. Hit that like button. We'll see you guys next time. Cheers. 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 Fantastic that, whiskey. He's got to keep talking, then. I know. Yeah, that, that's good. Stuff, like I know man. Drew wrapped this up, but I'm just gonna. I'm gonna keep, keep saying. You left a couple things out, man. Right? Notification, hit the subscribe button, like, love you. <laughs> I love you, sweetheart. Want to hug it out? <laughs> reach around. Tell me who's been a new kid. <laughs> you know you're looking see That's fine. <laughs> this is, you're, you're seeing exactly what happens. When I got you some more. Is that what right? <laughs> This is tame. Uh, this is tame. You and I are the only ones that got that I one. know. Wow, Sorry. wow. All right, let's bring the comments Hit the record button. Hit the record button. All right. Bring the comments back in. Now we can relax and uh, well, we're relaxing. 80 everybody. more comments. Said, Holy cow. I said we wouldn't take the whole hour to do these two. And man, oh, my God. This is going late. Guys. What the heck was this? 900. What, what, is, what is that? What is that? I don't know. See, thank you for see that nice. stuff for work. Thank you, thank Dave. You, thank you, thank you. you have the great Wait, Adrian, understanding. I is that I'm cheers. not I'm not always in with everyone right, else. Let's we scroll up and see. Uh, bear with us a second. We're, we're gonna come back. We're gonna okay. scroll up the okay. scroll down. I have three. The five seven one says the Scotch Hunter. Yeah, that's where we were when we came in. Yeah. So. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, okay, geez. Uh, what are I have. Oh, Billy hasn't had to kill Karen. Ooh, oh, you are missing out, brother. Oh, he has he that signet. Oh, signet's fantastic. Yeah, yeah, that signet is a. So we're like 30, 20 minutes behind on comments. So, okay. So Bear with us. We're talking about the batch mm. five is, is the best. Mm. I saw that. Wait, go back, go back. What? Zach still likes ex bourbon more oh, than that. That's, that's Zach. 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 Whatever. Zach. 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 That that um, that's love more for us right there. That's right. That's like three cases still on the shelf. So, uh, good, good, good. Well, I can't keep even going, Keep going. Keep going. To me, Sherry covers up the distillate of Kilcarran. No, it doesn't. No. no. This one. This Funk forward. New I, shirt. That's why I said to him, I'm like, it's a new shirt. Funk forward. I love it. So <laughs> so this one does not cover up Kilcarran. So I, I so Zach, I would say this is probably more your wheelhouse if you want if you want to taste Kilcarran. Last year's version Nutty, was savory to me. Like barbecue meats, sauce. Yep. And I, I think that's a pretty cool. You can put it up there. Which one? This one? Nutty, oh, yeah, cheesy, and industrial, talk about huh? Chocolate chaser, interesting. I think that industrial might be the funk we're Yes, I, Josh. I would agree. Uh, yeah, but nutty, cheesy. So the only difference industrial between maybe the two of them I, is cheesy. Funk. I don't get the cheesy. I get the, ah. the funk. I get as as kind of a nutty quality. No, I, to I, it. so I, mean, I would say no. That's not the only difference. The, the mm -hmm. sweet bringing the sweetness down. The you know that uh, rich like raisins and uh, plums and things like that. That came down definitely in this version. 
Gosh, some guys. I would agree with that. Everybody's talking Kill about the four, Andrew. Andrew. <laughs> yeah. I killed it. Oh, man. No four. Put it down. Me. We're missing all some, kinds some of these other rock. comments. I know. We're missing all kinds of good rock comments. Um, so, if you let it sit for longer, would the funk dissipate a bit? Uh, yeah, I probably. Probably. So. It's kind of uh, like a little heat. bit. Yeah. But it's it's a different kind no, of funk thing. Dude, I don't know. And funk. Alejandro, do you see any similarities between the Kilkerran 8 and the Balcones French no. Oak? Not at all. No. The French Oak is completely no. really different. This is a completely different whiskey. Completely different. Yep. No. So, DB She, thank you for the super heck, chat. Yeah. What's C or C? I don't know. Well, and so. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Go up, go up and to the comment to and show the super chat. His? Yeah. So Adrian, um, I don't know what a C, which what um, CRC is, but cheers. Thank, thank you. So thank much. you very much for the super chat. You stumped us. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know the it. currency, so please, yeah. please correct us. Costa Rica. And, and, Costa Rica. All right. All right. All right. Dude, I say we go down there and spend some coins. <laughs> oh, I could do so, that. So Pure Master says, uh, let me pull it up here. D, thank you. I uh, haven't tried this new kill Karen 8. Uh, the 57 one was a special, yes. Still have one open to, yeah, Worth bunkered. It. Right. No, no, for sure. So I, mean, I think that this one deserves your attention because it's a completely different whiskey. It, it really is. It is. And you know what? That's I, the fun part about doing right. batch series like this. I, I mean, got, it's the same with Tamdu, although if you guys haven't watched our Tamdu batch comparison video, so here's the deal. So <laughs> that's a good experience. There's like one minute in there where I thought I was and, gonna die. And we all drink <laughs> like high ABV whiskeys all the time, and that was the one review that we're like, we yeah, literally yeah, had, we, we had to shut the camera off for a few minutes. We had to call so TV much. time off. Like, deep yeah. breathing. Yeah. Boys, I um I I'm gonna tell you right now I'm I'm actually on the hunt for this because this this to me is is as close as I'm gonna get to decent twenty. And for the price and availability. This is totally different than decent twenty. No, it's not. It's very similar. Hmm. It's good. Okay. It's good. I can it see your can, I see your similarity. I, I, I would it's not it's not it's not as toasty. <laughs> no, you're no, right. absolutely. Yeah. It's not as toasty, but it's it's got that funkiness I love. I I, I need to get. I would love to get I'm more. Something like rich Campbell to fill up this glass Yeah, because we got we got this single fill sherry single malt. Oh, scotch I forgot about that. Jesus. But we all right. Let's, so let's do that. Keep mm -hmm. going. All right, here. let's do it. We're, um, we're live. We're, we are live. All right, and we're gonna gotta, finish with a. We gotta get going. Line. We're actually out of time. We we, we gotta get this. We bang this out. Yeah, I know we. Lifeline, Travis Fairclough, who hopefully is still on, sent us some samples, and the samples look like this. That's it. They say, first fill, sherry, single malt, <laughs> scotch, single cask. That's all it says. Don't know what it is. Thank you, D. I got to say, for first fill, sherry, pretty damn light. <laughs> I'm really yeah. Yeah, this, no, this, I, It's a little uh, deceiving. I think it's the wrong. Maybe you get the wrong yeah. label. You're doing me all wrong. Doing me all wrong. There's no ABV. <laughs> he meant first fill. He meant first fill bourbon. I think is what he meant. <laughs> I don't. Uh, I don't think I've ever hey, seen him post anything this light before. So I'm kind of curious what we're getting into. Western, it may Western, be like a phenol. That's cat. like it's like nine in the morning there or something, right? Good day, man. Did you guys split one? Yeah. Did you? Yeah. Jump the... Sure. Whatever. Oh. Well, I guess we're not splitting. Yeah. Oh. Right. I said we only have two. I thought everybody had we one. Did. We had four. It don't matter. <laughs> You well, told me there was four. Why there are each of us. I so put mine in my glass. I, I only opened three of them, two of them, because I thought, you know, an ounce each would be fine. Whoa. You're right. Probably we should consider. It don't matter. Just don't yeah. matter. So, Zach, or not Zach, sorry. Mike Travis, says first of all, should not be. Tra Travis was very aggressive on his uh, wax. Uh, yeah. Coating. Maker's Mark wants to talk to him. So I believe just to uh, give a trade secret away, Travis uses 50% crayon, 50% glue stick. And it's actually a really So this good is a clean plant. glass, but I'm smelling um, wow. more so than just sherry in here. This yeah. is the it's, lightest whiskey I think I've ever seen Travis Faircloth uh, drink. So I'm it's, very it's interested kind of to see notes. what this is. Like, this is yeah. not a glass that had funk in it. And... I'm getting so my initial palate was this is peated. <laughs> no, it's, it's not peated. <clears throat> I mean, I, I guess it could be. It's it's got something going on in it. <laughs> I don't want to sound freaking off base here, but do you guys smell any grain in there? Yeah, that's exactly what it is. You can't that's exactly it can't I'm, I'm, I'm trying to figure out what that smell is, and it reminds me of grain. 
Okay, it's same whiskey. Okay, I just want to verify. <laughs> First, Phil Sherry. That's exactly what it is. Single Mike. malt scotch. It's single malt. There's no grain in there. Man. It smells. It smells. It smells grainy. grainy. A very green. Ooh. Holy. Yes. Uh, so it's green. not. It's not forty percent ABV. No, it is not. Be prepared, <laughs> my friends. Holy cow. Ooh, and it yeah, didn't no. smell that strong on the nose, so I went in. Oh, I went in hot, and it was uh, mm. even after those other two. Woo. It's hot. Woo. It's hot. <laughs> Good lord! What's no, the MVP? It, it's that? really delicate, though. He doesn't tell us. We don't know. I'm gonna say that's 60. like two. That's like 59. Or oh well, 60. Yeah, it's, so it's the, probably the, high. It's higher than 60, baby. Come on. So, so I would say no it's grain. above 60 if it's a matured whiskey. If it's a young whiskey, it hmm. could be. I bet, I bet it's young. It could be young. <sighs> okay. Hmm. Too close for missiles, <laughs> switching to guns. Um, that right there. Oh, man. Ooh, it's nice, though. It's real. It's it's delicate. It's sweet. Uh, I'm just going to put some water on it I, I need it. I think this is really tasty. Actually, it is starting to really. I didn't think there was grain, Travis. I mean, it's, it's starting, it's starting to get. No, I know it's not grain it, either. It just but... smells that way. It smells green. It smells uh, no. like it's green barley. I need some more. No, there's no grain. I mean, it's. I can't tell if there's like a little bit of smoke or something going on this, or if it's just the alcohol's burning my tongue. Water on it. It's it's like it concentrated water, honey and sh like sugar and like it's got that sweet, but it's also got like something else going on in this thing. I can't figure out what it is. The grain is the only thing I can put my no, mind to it. It's obviously not grain, but it's something straw else. and hay, maybe a little bit. It's like a not. Highland. Urban's got a good hint. It probably is SWS. Hmm. I can't believe this is a first fill sherry. Look it's how light this thing is. So I would say it's got to be like a Fino or Four something. Something uh, uh, like a Four really... year first fill sherry. SMWS. Three years, one day. Yeah. <laughs> no PX. I'm not getting Oloroso. It, it's like a hot. It, I think it's Fino or something. Because it's really pure and light and clean. Marshmallow is what I'm getting on those. You think they finished it in marshmallow? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it filled them. I finished it in marshmallow. I like marshmallows. Cup. I like marshmallows. It's higher than 64.1. Mm. Uh -huh. Yeah. Travis says it's 67. Yeah. <laughs> I call you. <laughs> I need more water than that. I took your three, <laughs> four and three times. I watered it down to 61. Yeah. <laughs> you probably did, yeah. <laughs> Rogers, holy hell. Yeah, it does. It, it, it comes at you. 67.6. You need to put a warning on there before you let us <laughs> yeah, that's that. Yeah, that's Shouldn't go blind. It's not SMWS either. Oh. Now, I don't think SMWS has ever bottled anything at 67. Maybe they, they have they have to put a warning label on them when it gets that hot, man. You could kill somebody. Yeah, good thing I'm not pregnant. Good Lord, it's still hot. I poured a shitload of water on it. So I'm really not getting much new make, no barley in there. I think right. it's, it's yeah, it's I delicate, got, it's light, it's vanilla. It's um, I got enough water in there now. Yeah, it was definitely the alcohol that was mm, killing my tongue. Yeah. Um, now it's all just like honey and floral and... Lots of hun uh, it's, honey. Honey. I Graham actually cracker, a, honey. A, a bit of a lemon finish. I don't know if that was just that drink. It has a hint of lemon. I don't know if that was just that maybe. drink. I didn't come back. Huh. Could it be PC? Paolo Cricardo? I don't, I don't know that anybody needs to bottle at 67%. No, that I think it's not. <laughs> I, I honestly have no idea what this is. So, but let's let's um, let's give it a review. Let's, let's go around the horn. A, a quick review. Maybe not in a full in-depth, but, you it's know. hot. It is. <laughs> yeah, but, so I, but when you water, when you wow. when you put water down, this is a really refined whiskey. It's good. So this is going to be in the two five to three range for me right now, just off the top of my head, because it's 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 so it's not particularly complex. So admittedly, it's not that, but it's delicate. It's um, yeah. That's another good hint. But this says first fill. It's first fill cherry. Yeah, it's you're not right. It, it's not. So how can it be first fill and be this color? Well, if it was in there for a short amount of time, at 
that's going to be a young whiskey. Yeah. If it's a single oh, that's, scotch. That's very true. It's got to be an IB. So probably. And that's fine. Yeah, I mean, and just because it says first fill doesn't, I mean, you've got, there's differences. There's first fill wet. <laughs> well, and, and then, there's first fill that's been reconstructed. Go, and dried I, go out, out and so, give me those boards so out there. So Malt Dominion has a good point. Is it on much of the EO? I, I don't think it's that sweet. Yeah. Um, we did put water on Travis. I, I think that's a great idea. Um, put some water. Welcome, on. Greg. You're not. Hey, Greg. Late. We're still doing hey, it, Greg. <laughs> you didn't miss a thing. No. There's no funkiness to it. There, there's, no, there's no peat. There's no sherry to it whatsoever. I don't think. Um, it's all. It's all like a highland. It's all. It's all honeycomb and sugary and um, getting some little rose water on it. You know the irony is is maybe a more, hint of. I watered it down. And you made the right comment. I watered it down, probably to sixty one or two percent, but it's yeah, really it's approachable. It. Yeah, it's at whatever it is I'm, right now. I'm probably in the high fifties, yeah, fifty seven or so. Yeah, and I'm at this know. level, it's like when I first took a sip, me, it was, <laughs> it was a lot, man. Uh, this is much better. Uh, I, I get all of those sweet notes coming out now, and it's really nice. This is like this is probably honestly this is There's probably this is probably an Isla. There is some. Are we getting any there. white wine sourness? I don't really get I, any sour. I'm, I'm getting a little peat on the peat on the finish. I will say that I I might have gotten You're some right. white wine sourness when it was when it was neat. I mean that might have no. been because I got like a funky mm -hmm. weird note to it when it was at cast strength. It was, but it also mm -hmm. was sixty seven percent. So that's hot. That's a good guess. Yeah, I don't know. So <laughs> I just rewatered it. It's put a great. Little bit it's more. a great whiskey. I didn't bring it that far down, guess, but it, it honestly reset the nose. It still uh, it brought back that that green fresh hay straw smell to me that I was saying smelled grainy, and I know it's not grain, but uh, now I think it'll tame down here in just a, a hot second or two because the palate before I put that water on was sweet. Did have a nice honey note. It did. I, I one yeah, sip I did have at the very late water. finish a lemon oh, yeah. lemon taste on the palate. You guys getting any peat on it at all? Mm, no. I, think, I think Andrew might be right. It's it kind of it's starting to it it reminds me of Luckier Bay a little uh, bit. Kill Kill Karen or uh, Kill Holman. <clears throat> uh, no, it's got it's, it's it's not that it's it's just he says we got people from everywhere tonight. Freaking we had Travis you Ian son of a gun. Scotland. I want to read this comment. Well, do we do have a translate button? If you right click it, sometimes it says translate. We got people from everywhere on tonight. Chat. Central America. Oh, Scotland. Nice. Hi, guys from Scotland. Man, I wish I were in Scotland. <clears throat> Damn. All right. So it's a Highland. That doesn't surprise me. Dude. Well, that's what we originally <clears throat> said. Yep. I mean, it's got uh, all I mean, the classic Heather, Highland. Heather, Honeycomb. It's it. all Highland. Yeah. So, all right, Travis. All right, Travis. Travis. It's I mean, probably it's a Stratus, Stratus, Stratus oh. Isla. Oh, look at Travis's comment. Sulfur is in there. Sulfur? Oh, then this there ain't no is no Come there on. Ain't no so, hang on a second. Before he goes, any more clues? <laughs> give, me, give me your, I don't want your guess at what it is. I want your a number. Just right now. You don't, you don't go to this a room. number? So, yeah. If you just gut check me right now, what do you it's, think? It's hard, it's hard because I don't know the price. I don't know where it's coming so from. What? But I, I like it. I, I think it's it's very intriguing and interesting, and it's I want to know more about it. Um, it's not super complex, but I, I would give it a, a solid two five, maybe a three at this point because it's 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 engaging. I would yeah, I would disagree that it's not complex. It's not the most complex. It's not a four level complex, but with the kind of the the sulfury notes, the the sweetness, I'm the balance, it's I'm light, so it's. Yeah, I'm I'm with you. I'd be like between a two five and a three. I would if, love if you made me pick a number. I'd probably pick. I mean, I don't. I'd know. put a three on this. I would love to share this with somebody and talk through it with them. It it is. It's one of those scotches that unless you have a fairly decent palate and can pay attention to it, you're not going to get there very much out of it. You have to really know. dig in. So, no, I think you're absolutely right. You really yeah, have to pay attention maybe. to what's going on. If, you're, it's, it's, if, if you're, you go right quick, it's, you're going to miss everything that's going on. If you're on. novice at scotch, so, number one, you're not going to drink this because it's way too hot. Yes. You're going to have to water it down. Sean's 100% right. 
So if I'm giving it a number, I'm giving it a, a, a two five on this moment. Now, if I were going to judge it on what I think it can be, in other words, I give this thing some time because it is 67%. I, this, I need, you need to spend some time with this. I'm all, my sinuses are already getting clogged up from all this. And I got to right call though. bullshit it on is. the sulfur. I don't, I'm not smelling sulfur here. And, and I usually am sensitive to that, right? Yeah. Usually I catch that. It's the so, only thing you smell. So, so, exactly. So Travis is saying. So I'm saying two yeah. five. But I'm not even going to guess at the distillery yet because yep. he's going to keep giving us hints. But I wanted to get a review on it before we know because I think yeah. that's true to but a lot of people. What are we saying? What are we at? I'm at a two five. Go and three? I could go plus or minus five right now because I honestly. Go this three. I think we're, we're probably all around two yeah. five three. Two five or three. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So. so all right, Travis. I yeah, we are ready. Give, give us the price. Give us, hey, the, give price. us the price point on this now. Um, I, I think this is pretty interesting. I think that it's a time well spent bottle like you pour it especially so, with that cap yeah, you're tell me this as well travis is this a distillery bottling or is this an independent bottler you can't remember i'm shocked you got a 30 second delay at least i can't believe this is a uh a, bo a distillery bottling this is probably expensive bottle oh man the daniel cleric said he'd give it a two five I'm, I'm gonna get i'm gonna i'm gonna say it's probably not what we expect no, it's not. I, I have no idea what it is, but the nose on that is like the, this is like a like soft. Like this is a, a a Caden Heads McAllen. Oh, wait, okay. Single Cast Nation. Yeah, 2013. Have a six year first fill Amadadio. Okay. So it is young. It is six not, years not your standard Scott or your standard sherry. One time. Amadadio. Oh, man. $100, $110. Dan, okay. Daniel and I are in like the same wavelength in our. Palace, I'm telling you. He and, I, he and I scored the same thing. Travis, this is a great whiskey. So I, I, I think I think it's a I don't I, I think it's honest. a good whiskey. hundred dollars a shit thing about that's pricey. Video, maybe but, a little but, bit of price, but it's been never for a six I, year too. That's I will call it a unique whiskey. That's a good way to say it. Yeah, I'd love to I, I like exploring this with somebody. Yeah. I think it's got, sending it, Travis. I think it's got some interesting notes, but it's I would like to sit with it longer ben because Nevis. nothing is very oh shit I, I stand outish. I googled Ama Tadio Gorda and the very first result in Google is this bottle. <laughs> I didn't Google this, but I just the the finish single cast nation. There they're, you go. They've got a lot of good bottles. So admittedly, I, I've not had a knowing. I've never like explored a bottle that I know is Ama Tadio. So this is. Yeah, I need, one to, I need to research more. I, I not about the whiskey that's finished in it, but about the cast, about the wine that was in it before, because I don't know anything about that wine. Yeah, right. It's I mean, pleasant though. It's nice. It's approachable. It's. I mean, it's hot though. Jesus, it's hot. Well, and well I it's, find good, it's good weed. That if I if I water it down enough that I can get into it, it's lost a step. It's it's hard you, to find that balance point. You almost yeah. need to pour it and let it sit and, and, and hit it until you're finally there to, yeah. to make sure. So. All right, guys, we're way Man, past. This thing is really good. It's really approachable at the water point yeah, right now. Is. Right now, I love it. We are. Travis, thank you so much, thank brother. You, that was fun. This is yeah, definitely man. something that we have no experience in. Yep. Um, it was an eye-opener and good for us to go through and yeah. live. I hope everybody else got something out of it. I hope you guys enjoyed everything. Uh, it was fun. Comments it was fun. real quick. You guys want to say good, different, by any announcements? November, want to talk about it? Sure. Dates November, November 12th, 12th and 13th. So if you are interested in the uh the Scotch for Dummies six year anniversary, six year, fifth year anniversary, five plus one <laughs> plan <laughs> to take off Friday, right? Maybe Thursday. Uh we are planning to have an event on November 12th and 13th. Those that's a Friday and a Saturday that we will we have not determined exact location of preferred hotels, things like that. But we're gonna get a calendar. Down. We're gonna get a block of rooms. We're gonna have dinner at Sean's uh, 1830 Chop House, which the is a house. which is a fantastic find. It's a steakhouse, you know, chop house kind of thing. And then we will have a lot of good events on Saturday. We'll be we'll be hanging out. Be, bring your favorite whiskeys. We'll share them. We'll have um, some barbecue catered in from Backroads Barbecue, and we'll have a great day on sa on Saturday as well. Absolutely, right on. That's the Sounds big, awesome. Yeah, that's the big thing y'all need ready to keep, now. keep focused, front and focused. Uh, more reviews coming. I know a lot of people have given us comments, uh, feedback that they missed the good old-fashioned Scotch for Dummies reviews. 
We hear yep. you loud and clear. We realize that it's been a long more summer. More content's coming. We're on it. We're going to start putting out some more good old fashioned reviews. You guys got to see what that's about. <laughs> yeah, that was fun this. actually. And that was. I hope you guys enjoyed it because that's really exactly how it goes. We do it in one take. Um, that was actually aside from cleaner that, than normal. Yeah, that was, <laughs> was. that was cleaner because we were. This guy's got to edit anyway. a lot of stuff. But out, anyway. So. Guys, good time tonight. Yeah, Thank man. you to all of you who stuck with us for an hour or so and for the super chats and whatnot. Yeah. yeah. Happy Thursday. Happy Thursday. Cheers, guys. See you next week. Cheers. 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 Three, two, one.